Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I just got back from the Glendale, Arizona Gun Show, sponsored by Arizona Gun Radio. I saw lots of interesting things and was able to pick up this beauty. Some of the things that were available, I saw several old Colt revolvers, which I'm a huge fan of old Colts, single action army. One of them had it was a 1900 beautiful ivory handles, a 3840, and very well maintained. The other one that I was interested in was a 38 Special, which is a shooter. It's in a little bit more rough condition, and I don't think the barrel matches the origin of the gun, but you can tell by the markings on it that it is an 1879. There were lots of beautiful knives more knives than I've seen in a long time. There were some historical guns I was totally unfamiliar with. For example, a Marbles Game Getter. It has a fold-up stock. I'd never seen anything like it. I thought it was fascinating. The second thing that I found the most interesting was a Taylor Fur Getter. I'd never seen anything like this. It has a hook on the end for you to put bait and you load it up with a 22. You set it and it's to catch a coyote. So when the coyote comes, eats the bait off the end of it, it detonates the gun, and then you have killed your coyote. It's no longer legal, so if you do see something like this, remember it's a collectible and it's not legal to use it. I saw some beautiful Belgian pinfire revolvers. They were very well done, and it was interesting to have the gun dealer explain them to me the pros and cons and the history of these beautiful firearms. There were zombie hammers, whackers, lots of prepping gear, Berkey water filters, live straws, and all kinds of survival gear and ammo. The ammo was very expensive though. I saw 22 Magnum for $24 a box, which I thought was quite expensive. The item I couldn't live without was this detonator. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a U.S. Engineer standard 30 cap exploder by Fidelity Electric Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The reason this was so interesting to me is because I have a family history of uh, someone, a distant relative to me, had a gold mine and was able to have dynamite and would uh, occasionally set off dynamite and explode things to shock and awe all the children and the grown-ups as well. I love it. This actually still is in working condition. You can see it still has the two bolts on the front. You never want to touch them with your fingers, but if you wanted to use it, you would hook this up uh, set it to whatever it is that you care to detonate, then you pull up on the handle and push it down as hard as you can. There's a little generator inside which sends the charge down the wire. Kaboom! I had to have this. It's beautiful, it's in very good condition, and it, I thought was just a very exciting, entertaining thing to find something that reminded me of some family history and some excitement out in the Old West. It's fun to go to gun shows. Dealers that are there are more than happy to visit with you, explain things to you, help you learn and understand more about guns and ammo and any outdoor activity that you're interested in. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. <laughs>